Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, we're on the Manitowoc River. Uh, I guess this would be uh, Central East Wisconsin. And Blake, we're doing something today that, that you haven't done before. And uh, this is trout fishing through the ice. What do you think? Ooh, I'm excited. I've only done an open water, so I'm excited to do it through the ice. Well, we're with Tim Maher, and, and you and, and Tyler have habitual guide service. And uh, yeah, we know you do the perch, and we know you do a lot of other things, but your guy's specialty is steelhead and brown. Trout. Yeah, we love our trout. This is our this is our bread and butter right here. Now, what we're doing today, and we got a group of guys, we're going to sit here, eat some Johnsonvilles, and, and we're going to watch uh, automatic fishermen, right? Yes, sir. We're going to wait for them to slap and run and grab the fish. Now, when they do hit and you get a steelhead on, maybe an 8, 10 pounder, how's the fight? It's crazy. They scream out drag. The browns don't scream as much drag, but it's still a long fight usually. They bulldog around the hole. We should have some excitement today, that's for sure. Now, are the steelhead good to eat? Yeah, they are good to eat. We usually don't eat the big ones, a little chrome, little yeah. chrome fish. Anything silver is okay to eat. Anything dark or big, let it go, let it grow. Now, steelhead, they're not like salmon. They live a long time. Yes, they live longer than a, than a salmon does, and we're able to catch them multiple times throughout the year, too, if we release them, so we release quite a bit of them. All right, we're going to have fun today, aren't we? Yes, sir. I just sit here on my Yamaha and watch the automatic fishermen? You got it. All sir. right, hey, folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it, all that coming up right after this. Folks, Jiffy has completely revolutionized the electric ice fishing auger. My buddies are really impressed. Yeah, John, at 80 volts, this is absolutely the most powerful electric ice auger ever made. I guide seven days a week, and with this auger, I can get 25% more holes than any other electric ice auger. What I really like is these ripper blades cut through ice like butter, and they stay sharp for a very long time. Even the battery is fast. This thing charges in an hour. For more information, folks, you can go to jiffyonice.com. Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about diesel fuel additives. Many people ask me, does Amsoil have product for diesel fuel? Well, we do. And today I want to talk about our all-in-one additive. It takes care of everything that you need in one dose. It cleans, it lubricates, it boosts your cetane, and it also keeps the fuel from gelling up in the cold. So you take care of basically all the needs in one dose. Check out the back of the bottle for the proper dosage for your tank. And for more information on any of our fuel additives, check out Amsoil.com. Welcome back, folks. As we talked at the top of the program, we're with Habitual Guide Service. I love the name of that, Tyler. You know that? Yeah. How'd you come up with that? Well, me and Tim sat down and we were trying to think of something that was a little different, and uh, that's what we came up with. Well, it is a good habit to get fishing with you guys because we're steelhead and uh, brown trout fishing today on the Manitowoc River. And Tyler, we're using automatic fishermen. Before we explain the rig, let's talk about what you're using for bait. What do you got on there, buddy? Uh, here we got hand tied spawn sacks. Uh, we cure up all our own eggs and then tie them up in netting. You can see the colorful floats in there that keeps our spawn sack you know, able to float up off bottom and kick around in the current. And just a number six Eagle Claw Yep, hook. yep, that's it, just right in the side, six pound test fluorocarbon leader. Tyler, this is kind of a neat rig. What happens with the automatic fisherman? Now you set your bait and, and what happens when the fish comes? Show us how you're doing that. So it's, you let your bait down, you know, you want to find bottom. Okay. And once you've got your bait on bottom, my bobber will tip like that. Okay. So now you arch the rod over to the pin mechanism. Okay. And that's where this little bobber comes into play. See, that's our strike indicator bobber. So okay. we set that about there. So what's gonna happen is that fish will start taking the bait. You'll see that bobber go up. As soon as it gets to the top. Oh, wow, so it sets the hook? hook. 
It yep. sets the hook for you? Yep. Is that pretty reliable? Yeah, it's got a pretty good catch ratio. That's uh, the most effective thing we've found for using, for fishing these trout. So we do sit, sit on the side of the river and, and, and watch the, uh, what are they called again? Automatic fishermen. Automatic fishermen. And yep. when they go, you just run and you battle them like you're reeling them with a jig stick. That's the nice thing. You got to fish on a pole instead of hand lining it with the tip up. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Woo! That was so cool to see that go, Tim. Okay, is the, the, you think it's Reel a good down. one, Tim? Real down. To Tyler, the get in here, buddy. Get up. in here. We got. Don't lift hard. Yeah. I'll take it nice okay. and slow. Okay. This is habitual guide, sir. Oh. Can we gotta ask what happened, slow. guys? Broke the line. Broke, Broke the line. Is that my fault? Yeah. yeah. When it gets close to the hole, we'll just kind of take it easy, let them go around the hole. That happens. Now Blake's going to cry. <laughs> oh, no. No, I shouldn't have that done was shrimp. No, I'll tell you, that is exciting when those rods go like that, too, man. Yeah. Did it feel big? Oh, yeah. It was At first, <laughs> it didn't seem like it, but it definitely was bigger than, than what we thought, yeah. All right, well, that's a good sign. Now, don't be too sad, okay? Yeah, I asked, and I didn't do anything wrong, correct? No, you didn't do anything wrong. And you'll get another chance. Okay. But what happens with those big fish like that when they get on, what happens? they actually that leader material gets it gets what? caught in the ice on the edges of the ice and if they pop real fast while well, it's against it sometimes it breaks sometimes they pull hooks just trout being trout you got one on here guys yep. all right here we go here we go who's oh jordan's gonna be our guy today <laughs> feel pretty good buddy yeah, feels decent. oh yeah Steely. oh yeah that shakes. now we got to get lucky this time and get this fish on the ice, right? Yeah, we don't want to be well, like Bob. We now, where do you go to high school? Shano. Shano High School. Don't, don't lose this fish. Doing some weird stuff. Well, what it's do we steely. think here? Is it a good size fish? I think it's a nice rainbow. What do you think, buddy? Steelhead. Steelhead? Yes, sir. Uh, the fight is phenomenal, isn't it? We got it? another one just went up right another there. Another one up over there. Another one up over there. We missed that one. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Now the fights are phenomenal, aren't they, Tim? Yes, sir. This is what it's all about. Right yeah, here. this is major league fishing, buddy. It really is. How are you holding up there? I'm doing good. Are you? Okay. Why aren't you in school today, by the way? I wanted to fish. Oh, really? So you high schoolers can just do that, huh? I'm, I'm, I got a uh, fish fever today. Fish fever. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Tim, are they tough to grab, Tim? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the really, this is the critical part of the fight here. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, this is so cool, folks. Wow. This one just took another run again, huh? Yeah. This one took another run again. Yes, sir. So you just got to be patient, huh? Yeah. Bob okay. On that pole down there. Yeah. How big do you think he is? It's decent. Not bad. Here we go, nice tight. Okay, look at that. Oh no. Oh, Nothing no, you can no. do there. Squirly. It's it's a hand grab. Wow, this is the critical part of the fight right here, folks. Come here, buddy. <gasps> Ooh, I see it. Grab him any way you can, huh, Tim? Yes, yeah, sir. I think it's by your hand. Yeah, okay. Yes, uh, it's on your thumb. Yeah. I'm just trying to push it, bring him to the hole with it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh! Nicely done! Oh my gosh! Is that a beautiful fish, you guys? Wow! Now, hey, what do you think, man? That's an awesome fish. Now look at the beautiful coloring on this. Now tell the folks at home who haven't seen a steelhead what this is, Tim. This is a rainbow trout. This is uh, this is what it's all about right here, big league fishing. And isn't that a gorgeous color on that fish? It's beautiful. Explain the coloration here. This. This has been in here for a little while. It's starting to turn that purplish color. Right. When they first come in, they're super chrome, and as they sit in the river longer and longer, they get dark. You'll start to see some of them will even turn like black. And you like to catch and release on these? Yes, sir. Boy, is that, I mean, that is just a there beautiful go, fish. Oh. Whoops. How big do those get, Tim? We we get some well over 10 pounds, but 10 pounds is a really good one. Yeah, and this one looks about six? Yeah. Yeah, hold them up one more time, buddy. Look at that. It's a nice fish. I think you should be in school today. Uh, I don't know about that. No, isn't that beautiful? You can do the honors here, buddy. You caught them. 
Tyler, you and Tim have fished these rivers for a lot of years, and we're on the Manitowoc River today, but there's a, a number of rivers uh, along Lake Michigan that hold a lot of fish too, right? What are they? Correct. Uh, there's good fishing in uh, Anape, the Branch, uh, the Manitowoc River where we are today, the Sheboygan, all the way down to Milwaukee. Pretty much the whole shoreline has great fish. And, and you guys guide the ice, but you also, and I've done it with you, guide the with the waders and, and the bobber floats. That's a blast. Correct, correct. Yep, we like to do our float fishing. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. All right, let's go, guys. Well, what do we think here, guys? What are we thinking? We think it's a nice steel ad, hopefully. Okay. I mean, there it's not real fast fishing, but it's fast enough. We're getting a bite every half hour or so, yes, right? Here we are. are we, oh, here we are, here we are, here we are. It's a steely. It's a steely. Chrome one. Okay. Boy, do they fight even the smaller fish, you know? Yeah. It's an easy. Okay, am I in your way, guys? No, okay, I don't flipping. want to be in the way. He's just flipping around a lot. A little different caliber of fish, that's just it. Right here, too. Okay, here we go. Look at this guy with the hands there. Nice job. Oh, is that a pretty fish? Isn't that, you guys? Go, buddy. Thanks, man. Look at that. I just can't get over the colors. And again, you can tell how long they've been in the river by the colors? Yeah, the more darker fish. they are, the longer they've been in here. Yeah, this one's pretty fresh. Fresh run fish? Yeah, when yep. we were silver like that, they're fresh out of the lake. Now, Tim, again, now come uh, open water, which is about a month away, you guys will catch these on the steelhead rods waiting in the water, right? Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fun. That's my favorite. And how many guys can you take at a time for that, Tyler? Uh, up to groups of four. Oh, really? Yep. And that's an experience, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you know, folks, these river rivers are pretty, too, aren't they? Yeah, yeah it's beautiful, beautiful scenery. Yeah. Beautiful country. Oh, that is a gorgeous steelhead right there. Thank now, you. if you were going to eat one, down. is that the size you yeah, like? Yeah, that's the one right there. Okay. That is awesome, guys. All right. Are you going to release them? Yeah, yeah, I'll let them go. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh, you, you want a picture? Yeah. Yeah, get, grab a picture there. But that, I mean, they just are so pretty. And you know, we're so lucky in Wisconsin, aren't we? We When are. you think about it. You know, people fly out to Oregon and those of the coast to catch these. We got them right here. They're right in our backyard. Yeah, that is a beaut. Good. Got a few there we go. Here we go. Okay, beautiful release to fight another day. Hey, I got a question for you, okay? <laughs> Now, this guy here, you call the troll. <laughs> and uh, why do you call this guy the troll? Well, Timmy, Timmy's known to fish a bridge or two. <laughs> really? So you're like the troll under the bridge? No, he's just mad because I catch fish everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, folks, give, give, give these guys a call. You guys have a good time together, don't you? Always. The troll. <laughs> you know what makes ice fishing so much better is having a hot Johnsonville. Don't you love Johnsonville's? Yes, I do. Well, I cooked the better with cheddars today. They're already pre-cooked, so all you have to do is cook them on medium heat, 10 minutes. They're made with 100% premium pork, and they're made with also Wisconsin cheddar cheese. All right, you're going to take a bite? Yes. All right. How, <laughs> how, everyone take that a bite. <laughs> how good are those? Really good. Johnsonville yeah. brats. Mm. Johnsonville better with cheddars. Find them at your favorite retailer today. We were fishing the Manitowoc River in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, a one and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, two and a half hours from Chicago, and five hours from Minneapolis. You know, Josh, you and I have been using Humminbird Electronics, gosh, for as long as I can remember. And the Helix 7, it's got GPS, yep. Lake Master chip compatible. Yep. I like the little rod holders in the case, but also the different screens. Again, you got the... You got 2D, you got flasher mode and the GPS, and then you got your split screens. Everything in one unit. All in one package. And also, folks, you can buy the Helix 7 all-season unit, which you can use for the ice, and it also comes with a transducer that you can... Put on your boat. So, the same unit you can use on the ice, you can use on the boat. Use it all year round. Yeah, that's fabulous. Folks, you got to check out the Helix 7. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today, and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it and that can cause permanent damage to our boat but you have a solution we do have the solution it's called the aqua jet johnson pump washdown system and it is the strongest psi washdown in the industry without having to haul any power washers down any hoses hook up you're using the lake water filtering the lake water leaving your boat 
completely sparkling clean. Wow, I can't wait to get Johnson pumped. Oh, oh. nice bass, <laughs> sound bullet. Let's pull that yeah. up, there you go. Oh my gosh! I'm living some bullets. This has got a little more weight. Oh, oh look at yeah. that! There you go. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. See? Oh, All right, nice. Blake, look at that! Tim, over the years when I have fished, you know, the harbors in Milwaukee and Racine and Kenosha, we used a lot of minnows and spawn sacks, but you really, the spawn sack is the number one bait on the rivers. Absolutely. And what do we got here? Let's talk about this. So these are hand tied. Yep. They got little floats in here. What we run is a slip sinker with 16 to 24 inch lead. And these have little floats in them. So it floats up off the bottom then, you know, six to a foot up off, six inches to a foot off the bottom. And that's what these steelhead are doing in here? They're, they're eating eggs? Absolutely. So the kings come in and spawn, the browns spawn in the fall, and then these steelhead come in and eat their eggs. There is a couple strains that spawn under the ice and, and through the fall, but most of them are just here eating. How much time do you spend tying spawn sacks? Enough. Yeah. Another fish on, another fish on. Oh, we're gonna let the guide catch this one. Now, there's gotta be some pressure on him, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Tyler, we do not miss fish, do we? We're gonna try not to. Okay, <laughs> this is just a blast watching these, what do they call automatic fishermen? Yes, sir. It's so fun, you sit over there and bam, they go and you can actually hear it, can't you? Yeah. Or you can hear Blake going, ah! Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, well, come on, give us a little prediction here. Is this a big fish? This Decent is a good one. one. This fighting. seems like a brown. Okay. Oh, really? So, uh, do the browns get pretty big? Oh, yeah. Wow. You get some real good browns out of here. You get a lot of them over 10 pounds, some in the 15 to 20. 15 to 20 pound fish in a river like this. That That's, to me, the, what's amazing. Do you ever get to fight these fish yourself, Tyler? Once in a while. Well, not very often. You're the guide, so don't mess up. <laughs> yeah, do not mess up. <laughs> You will get roundly booed. Because <laughs> these two guys came through on their fish. Are we getting close? Yep, the sinker's right here. Okay. Right behind that, a couple inches behind. A couple inches Watch behind the sinker, face, okay. If that sinker comes out, it's going to Okay. You. Oh, look at here's Mr. Barry Hands. There he is. There he is. It's a brown. It's a brown? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how, what what part of the body do you try to grab him, Tim? I'm going to try and get whatever I can get at. Oh, so, okay. So you're not particular. <laughs> nope. And that's a little cold on the old hands there, isn't it? Yep. And he is all wrapped up. Oh, no. He took another run when he Grab saw the tail. hole. Okay, let's see now. We're getting close here. We're getting close, guys. Good run. Oh, yeah, he did. There, that, this has got to be so much fun. Look at that, look at oh, that, yeah. a beautiful brown <laughs> trout. Come on up here, you guys. That is, oh, I'll get down here with you guys. That is a beautiful fish. Now, Tyler, that is quite dark colored compared to the ones I catch out at uh, Lake Michigan, huh? Correct, this fish has been in here since last fall. And he came in because? He came in to spawn. Okay, and they'll stay in here and uh, browns live a long time too, right? Yep, yep, we try to release all the browns we catch. Now let's, yeah, let's take a look at the colors, Tim. It's Tell the folks, you know, what are the different colors we got here? We got a little bit of orange and some dark brown. He almost looks like a tiger trout. These are beautiful. And that fish can grow to be how big? State record's like 42 pounds, right? Yeah, yeah they yeah, get we'll, big. Yeah. Well, let's see. You want to let them go? Yep, we're going to let them back. Okay, that's cool. That's neat. You know, what you guys have is such a unique guide service. You know, uh, people, this is not available all over the world, is it? No, it's not. There's only very few places you can go to catch these kind of fish through the ice. Breaking news from Fleet Farm, check out this deal. When you buy a St. Croix fishing rod starting at $100, you get a free $20 Fleet Farm gift card. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $10 on the Frable Bait Box with Aerator on sale for $39.99. And 20% off all ice rods, reels, and combos on sale starting at $4.79. 
This is kind of a neat deal here. What's our job? We just sit and we wait and watch. And when I saw that one earlier, I screamed. No, this is really a neat way to fish. And, yeah. and these guys are so fast setting these tip ups and they moved once already today. So they moved all those tip ups in a matter of minutes. It's crazy. We asked, hey, how can we help? They're like, don't worry about it. And it just took just, them five minutes. They make us sit in these chairs all day. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there we go, guys. Does this feel like a good one? Uh, not too big yet. Well, I'll tell you, look at the fight though, folks. That is what's so cool about fish and steelhead. And uh, that brown, that last brown we caught was a beauty too, wasn't it? That was a good one. I think you should be studying over there. You're not in school. <laughs> Ooh, okay, did you guys see him? Did you see him? I almost seen a sinker in the eye. Oh no. Oh, he Here he is. That's a big brown. Here he is, big brown, big brownie. Big brownie, big brownie. The water is so clear. <laughs> oh, I know. How's that water feel, Tim? Nice and cool. <laughs> nice and cool? I think at this point his arm is numb. <laughs> no, I mean he's... Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is a beauty. Oh, this is a beauty. Nice. Get him! Hang on, hang on. Oh, don't hold. We just missed him. <laughs> That's a big fish, guys. That's the biggest one of the day. Yeah, it is. Okay, Tim. Oh, oh nicely <laughs> done. That's Holy cow! What a fish! Look at the size of that. Oh, and you know, I drive over, I drive the I-43 up to Green Bay, and I come over this Manitowoc River. I never guessed that, Tim, that there are those beautiful fish swimming in here. Big league fishing, John. Oh. And do you guys have openings for folks that want to come Absolutely. and fish the ice? Absolutely. Give us a call. We are set up, ready to roll. And again, it's not just the Manitowoc River. What other rivers do you fish? Every, every tributary along Lake Michigan. If there's water in it, there's trout in it, as long as there's current. Wow. And is, you've, you've done this before. A couple times. It's pretty magnificent, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? It's in your blood. Once you get started on it, it's hard. To... Now, this is, is this a fresher one? Um, no. This one's probably been it in spawned out. Spawned you see out. it's all loose. When do the, when do the brown trout spawn? They're spawning under the ice, some of them right now. They'll come in late fall, and then they spawn all the way up under the ice. Sometimes we'll catch some in the spring spawning. Security meets mobility. Introducing the Ascent Float Suit by Clam Outdoors. Finally, a float suit that provides the security of flotation with the benefit of flexibility. Our exclusive motion float technology utilizes a segmented system that gives anglers unrestricted movement on the ice. And the Ascent Float Suit offers the same maximum breathability and warmth that you expect from Ice Armor by Clam. Security. Mobility. Ascent. Pursue the ice. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built in glass rattle, it's a play off the Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes, incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises and then the third feature which is the most unique is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions and again you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors. Line is a very important factor in catching these steelhead right? Absolutely. Okay so you're running believe it or not for these big fish that fight like crazy six pound cigar ice axe and uh, why? Well, over the years of doing this, we just found that the Seaguar seems to hold up a little better than other products. Also being a fluorocarbon leader line, it's finer diameter. Uh, as we explained earlier, uh, these fish are real finicky. This water's real clear, so we like to keep it light. It helps increase the bite ratio. Bobarama, all right, we got Bobaramas on here now. You've been fighting this for a while. We are down river a little bit, huh? Yeah. And have you? It goes better than last time. Uh, well, you missed one earlier, but you know that happens. Have you seen him? No, not yet. Okay. What We're are you thinking, thinking, Tim? Think it's a brown. Think it's brown. Are there more browns or more steelhead, Tim? Uh, it's a mixture of both. Okay. Some days you'll catch only browns, and some days you'll catch a mixture. Some days you'll catch all steelhead. And is, this is the critical part of the fight, isn't it, guys? Yeah, when it gets close to a hole, it, you get it caught on the ice or anything, it breaks easy. Do you worry about logs or anything down there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob laughs because he lost one on a log earlier today. Oh, wow. What a fun fish to fight. Barrel, barrel. Let's That's see, let's fish. see. Real good fish. 
Yeah, you, you saw him, Tim? Yeah. You know, years ago we used to use gaffs, you know, Tim? Yeah. But you want to release these guys. Yeah, we rarely kill a trout. Oh! Whoa! Look at the size oh, of that brown trout. Yeah, Holy cow, buddy. is that a giant fish? Let's get it away from Tim, that on. is just a giant, buddy. Yeah. And look at, you're going to show the folks that kipe on that fish, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now what is the kipe? That's his big old beak right That's there. That's the, the beak. The big old ball on the tip of his beak. And what is what is that developed from? It's when they go into spawning, they start to get that. When they're out in the lake, they don't have a kite like that. But, uh, hey, Bob, the colors on this fish. Oh, it's beautiful fish. Isn't that just spectacular? It doesn't get much better than this. And how long did it take you to land that fish? It was probably... Get his head wet. Yeah. It was probably... Uh, 15 minutes? Yeah, about that. Well, I mean, that's just Hang amazing. The right there. No, this is this is not Here. uncommon. This kind of fishing on a daily basis. No, no good. This is 32. Thirty-two and a half. Thirty-two. Thirty-two and a half. It looks like what about twelve pounds? Yep. <laughs> For more information on steelhead fishing in eastern Wisconsin, call Tyler at Habitual Guide Service. The number is nine two zero two five five seven eight six five two five five seven eight six five. The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board of the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate, as well as air ride seating, things like that, really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks, everything is easily accessible. I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Hey, wouldn't you recommend this though for people to, to, to come and do? It was a blast today. It was really, really fun, and they provided everything for us. And all we had to do was run to the tip or the uh, what, automatic automatic fisherman, fisherman right? Yeah. No, Tyler, and, and we've got a couple more weeks of ice, I'm sure. And uh, as I say, it's a lot of excitement for folks that haven't done this, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really good time. Like uh, Blake had mentioned, uh, you just come out with us, and we do most of the work, and you sit back when the fish is on. You know, we come do battle. You even had chairs for us today, too. <laughs> yep, everything you need. Okay, the again, the name of the guide service? Habitual Guide Service. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. Good time. And, folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet, but we will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John. Gillespie's waters and woods.